Judge Mathis' wife Linda has officially filed for divorce after 39 years of marriage. She took the case to court last Thursday, listing July 17th as their separation date and citing irreconcilable differences as the reason. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. Elevation Nation conversation. God, body, Sean. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm back, y'all. Did you miss me? <laughs> Elevation Nation conversation. God, body, Sean. I'm here. I've been absent for a minute, but uh, handling business, you know, elevating myself, doing school right now, taking care of the daughter, working. So uh, just a black man handling business. Kind of like the black man that you see on your screen right here, my man, Judge Mathis. <laughs> you know, salute to my man, Judge Mathis. Uh, I watch his TV show all the time when I don't got nothing else to do. I've been watching it for years. And a lot of respect for the brother. You know, he, he funny as fuck, but he give it to you on the real. His story is dope. You know, he uh, he was a street dude, street cat, I think from Detroit. You know, he's getting to the wrong things and he got into some trouble. And he tell his story all the time on his uh, on his show. But he got into some trouble and then uh, he got he got you know he got out of trouble and he he got himself on that that right path where he went to school, uh, become a lawyer, then he became a judge and. I salute that, man, you know, a lot of black men, you know, come from the inner cities, kind of go through that, and uh, a lot of, you know, a lot don't make it out, and, you know, a lot do make it out, I'm one of those that made it out, and uh, did some better and some great things with my life, so I respect this story, and uh, I got a lot of respect for the brother, he talk about his, uh, his, his situation on his show all the time, but I know y'all saw this, uh, it, it just happened within the last week, his wife Linda. I guess they've been married for 39 years, and uh, she, she, I guess she filed a divorce. She filed for divorce. Now I understand we all go through it. You know, yeah. I'm a victim of divorce. I filed for divorce or whatever. You know, sometimes things just don't work out, and you know, you got to go your separate ways, and you know, you can still, still live a happy life, and uh, you know, everybody want to be happy. Everybody want to. Want to you know want to feel loved and appreciated and all that I guess so there are a lot of different circumstances that lead to divorce and I make people file for divorce. But what I'm thinking about is is after 39 fucking years, after 39 years, she I know she got to be in her early maybe late 60s. What the fuck are you getting divorced from? What are you gonna go out there and find and do? <laughs> there ain't nothing out there for you. There's nothing out there in these streets for you. There's nothing out. I've never even heard of his wife, really. You know, maybe I don't know what her career is or what she does or anything like that. I'm assuming she must. You know, she might be a stay-at-home mom and she's raised the, uh, raised the children. I think they got four kids that are uh, all adults now. Um, I'm sure Judge Mathis made enough money, you know, where he can take care of her and, and support the family, and she don't have to work, so. She's had a privileged life. So you want to get divorced now after 39 years and do what? And go out here and do what? A lot of women fall into this, this pattern of they think they have more options than they really freaking do and they want to get back out here in these streets or they want to live this single life or whatever. And they get out here and they like, damn, it ain't what I thought. Ask Tia Mowry. <laughs> she ready to go back to her dude. She like, oh man, nah, I'm gonna go back to my dude. It ain't nothing out here in these streets. Uh, what's the other girl, uh, Kiki Palmer? She separated from her baby daddy and she was bashing him and talking about she wanna go out here and live her single life and live her best life and uh, go out here and, and, and do what she wanna do when she wanna do it. Yeah, she got out there and she like, damn. Streets don't love me. <laughs> she running her ass back to her husband too. You know? So I'm not saying it's not justifiable if people want to get divorced or separated because things are not working out and they want to, you know, go their own ways and, you know, be happy and feel fulfilled. But sometimes you gotta say, look, sit your ass down, work out the work out the issues, work out the problems. You've been together almost 40 years. What are you gonna do? 
and the kicker part is is she want to ask for spousal support so that's the big trick that a lot of women like to play or, or the game or the system that they uh like to play okay he took care of you for 39 plus years or whatever you raised the family y'all did things as a team and now you want to leave the team so bye go so that, that that's like that's 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 like a, a, a athletic team or something like that a player say hey i'm on the team for 10 years i played i did this i participated i got all of the luxuries and all of the benefits from being married to judge mathis and uh we had a tv show together and she got some of the benefits from that she done you know she done got high profile from that a little bit and now you want to leave but you want them to take care of you still Imagine if a football player or a basketball player said that to a team that he was played with that he reaped the benefits from playing for and he got paid and compensated when he was with the team and he decided he wanted to leave and now he wanted to tell the team, hey, I think y'all should still pay me. What, t what part of the game is that? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, you can call me a male chauvinist and call me whatever, whatever the hell you want to call me, but I don't, I don't understand that part right there. If you want to leave, then go, but you don't, you don't still get the benefits of, that you had when you were with me now that you're not with me just because you had a certain lifestyle when you were with me. Get the fuck out of here. They need, they need to kill that, that noise right there off rip. That's uh, laws like that and um, stipulations like that come from the days, back in the days where women weren't allowed to work and the man was the sole breadwinner and the women didn't have a career or didn't have an opportunity to get a career and go out here and make, uh, make something of themselves and work and do their own thing and provide for their own selves and have their own income, get their own education. Yeah, back then I can understand it if they say, okay, she wasn't allowed to go to work. She wasn't allowed to go to school. You're the man, you know, you provided all the income. So now that she's going back out here, she has nothing to get started off with. So she needs something to kind of get, you know, get uh, some, some, some feeding under her so she can, you know, live her life and move on. But 39 years ago, you had the ability to go work. You had the ability to go to school, just like Judge Mathis did. You had the ability to go out there and get a career, do all that shit. Most likely, you probably made a decision to say you wanted to be a stay-at-home mom or raise the kids or whatever. Well, maybe you and the judge got together and decided. All right, all right, all right, y'all. We back. They had a little technical difficulties with the uh, with the system, so we had to shut it down and restart it. But let's catch back up to what we were talking about. We were basically discussing the judge Mathis divorce situation and how his wife wanted to file a divorce after 39 years. And I'm saying to myself, for what? What what is she going out there looking for? What are, what is she out there trying to grab or attain or anything like that? There's nobody else that is going to put her on a level financially or uh, lifestyle wise that that Judge Mathis did. Nobody out there is going for that. She's damn near what 65, maybe damn near 70. What options do she think she have out here? <laughs> like just, just realistically, you know, men and women are, are, are different. Men can go out here and get them a, a, a young girl that can, they can, um, you know, marry and a younger woman and uh, that looks good, that's in shape, uh, that's gonna respect them and, you know, get on their game plan and, and be on their game plan. But it is not that easy for women that are older up in age to get them anyone um, of, of any substance that could elevate them like their previous husband did if their hu previous husband was someone that was a higher stature. Men out here that are doing good for themselves and uh, affluent as they call or high value as they want to call it, they are not running around there marrying 65 plus year old women. Even if the man is 65 years or 70 years plus or things like that, they're not looking for a 65 year old woman. So she want to go out here and be independent. She want to file a divorce, but yet she still want to ask for spousal support. That's one of the re main reasons why a lot of men nowadays are uh, opting out for marriage. They, they don't want to get married no more. They're not with it. They're not feeling it because 
court system and the laws, the way it's set up, it puts men at a disadvantage. They're doing divorce laws and spousal support laws and things like that based off of society back in the 1920s or 1930s and 40s and things like that when women were not or did not have the ability to go to higher education or get careers or work outside of the home so the man was the main uh provider for the for the household as far as the kids and the wife so if back then if they did get divorced and they were getting divorced and they would just leave the women and the children destitute that would make our society crumble we couldn't have a society that would be elevating or uh, progressing if we left things like that to where the women can't work, they can't get a career, they can't get an education, they don't work outside of the home, and they only take care of the children. And if the men were leaving women and leaving them destitute like that with, with them and the children, society would not be able to stand like that. So I understand why they implemented those laws back then. So yeah, there had to be some spousal support because yeah, she was with you and taking care of the kids and she wasn't able to work outside the home so yeah she deserves some type of spousal support so she can get on her feet and she can sustain herself and have a living for let's say her and the children if the men don't get custody of the children or whatever but nowadays it's not like that it is not like that women have the ability to get education just like men do they can work just like men do they want equal rights and well, women's lib and the women's movement and things like that so hey you get a divorce, you don't need spousal support. Go out there and make your own, get your own. You made that decision to not work or you and him made that decision to not work and you and you decided you wanted to go that route and you knew that things could have the potential to fall apart or you guys separate or things like that and now you gotta go get it on your own. I think there should be a stipulation that if the woman files for a divorce, she don't get no spousal support. Because you chose to leave the situation, you chose to leave the marriage, you knew what the situation was, you knew where you were at as far as educational wise and financially wise. And if you choose to leave the uh, marriage, you know, you know, if it's not abuse and, you know, things like that, then no, make your way on your own. No, you don't get spousal support. No, you know, you got equal rights, so go out there and get it. Just like the man had to go out there and get it and stand ten toes down in it and, uh, and make it happen and... You need to do the same, basically. Hit that like, share, subscribe button, drop a comment in the comment section. We monetize now, so them like, share, subscribe, they, they, uh, they mean a lot. You know, we gotta get in that YouTube algorithm. And uh, I just wanted to touch in on this one real quick. Like, I, I, I don't get it. It's the same thing, like, uh, most women can't do this like these women do it. Like, uh, who was that, uh, Tina Knowles. Tina Knowles? She got a little money. She got a little paper. So she could divorce a motherfucker and go find her a younger dude because she'll take care of this younger dude because nobody's going to be able to put her on a status or the level that um, her ex-husband did. So she's not going to find a man that's on that level. She's just not. Not at her age. She went and dated the actor dude. Uh, he's not making money like uh, like Beyonce's father is. You know, He's not a businessman like that. He's not as successful as him. So he can't put her on the level that uh, Matthew Knowles did. So she went and married him and she saw that shit. <laughs> it, it was good for a little while. He's a nice looking dude or just whatever. And she's like, oh, I'm cool. I want to get a divorce now. I'm done. Uh, what's the, what's the, uh, what's Kim Kardashian's mother? Her. She in her late 60s or whatever. So she out there dating younger dudes because there is nobody that, there is, there's not a man that's on that level of her or higher that wants to marry her. She's 60 something years old. Any man that's that's built yourself up and has some stature and some uh, financial stability and some success, he's not looking for a 65 year old woman. He just not. That's just the real facts of it. Men and women have different things that they look for in a partner, in dating, in relationships, and it's a big difference. So I think some of these women are just delusional. They're just like, uh, like I said earlier, uh, Tina Mowry. She was with the Corey Hardrick dude. She wanted a divorce and she wanted to go live her best life and she wanted to run the streets and do this and do that. And she got out here and found out it ain't shit out here. <laughs> Not very many men that are successful at a higher level 
want to come looking for me and date me and take me seriously and marry me and and put all of their resources and uh, their finances on the line getting married to you at that age a lot of men are not going to do that shit it's just not happening the girl Kiki Palmer, she did the same thing. She was dating the dude, the baby daddy, whatever. She thought she was gonna leave him and find somebody more successful out here, or just somebody that's successful on her level or higher that want to get with her and marry her. She's a, she's in her 40s, I think. She has a young child. Not a lot of men that are on top of their game want that. That's just the facts of it. It's not hating. It's not woman bashing. It's not none of that. It's the facts of it. And it's the same way as when women say they don't want a dude that's broke or a dusty dude or a dude that can't do nothing for them or a man that's not accomplished, uh, a man that's not handling business and not on top of his game, on top of things. Women say the same shit. They say the same thing. They don't want to date no dude that can do nothing for them, can't take care of them, or, uh, it's not successful, it's not going places. So that's just the, that's the same thing on the flip side as with a man that is successful saying, no, I don't want some old ass woman in her 60s. Uh, I got to take care of. I'm going to risk getting married to her. Then when she get upset, she want to get a divorce. And now she taking all my paper and all my income. The shit just don't work like that. I'm sorry to say it, but it just don't work like that. You got a lot of dudes out here that are doing some simp shit too. Um, LeBron James, he made a, a post the other day and he was saying how he wouldn't be the man he is or he wouldn't be who, where he was without his wife and she made him who he was and all I thought to myself was, man, you made a fucking mistake <laughs> posting that shit. You made a big mistake posting that and saying that because now <clears throat> when she ready to dip out when your career is over. You ain't making money like you used to. You're not popping how you used to. And she's ready to go on ahead and hit these streets again. She's going to say, yeah, judge, I need half of all that shit because he said this right here. Look, he said this. He go to evidence. He said he wouldn't be nothing without me. He said I helped him uh, become who he is and make all the money he made and um, get to the level he's at. So he said this. So LeBron just set himself up for the alley-oop. He set her up for the alley-oop, brother. <laughs> he gave her the alley-oop because now she gonna use that shit five, 10 years from now when she ready to get that divorce and she want that paper. She gonna, here you go, judge. He said, I helped make him. I am the one. So man, women, y'all need to chill out with that. You've been married 25, 30, 40 years, sit down. If there's not no domestic violence going on or verbal abuse and mental abuse and things like that and, and nowadays most women think anything is uh, mental abuse or verbal abuse so you can't even have a disagreement or argument without a woman saying it's verbal abuse or mental abuse but uh y'all need to sit down somewhere man it, it, it's not it's not like y'all it's not it's not like what you think it is out here in these streets it's, it's definitely not it is not a lot of people out there making that 200,000, 150,000, million dollar a year uh, paydays. Uh, you know, motherfuckers out here working hard for it. And you think you're going to get out here and, and jump to the next man that's in that stature, in that, that type of situation, on that, on that level that is going to commit to you and marry you? Chances are slim to none. And they're leaning more to the none side. And it's just real fucking talk. Same way for a man that want to come out here and get, get them a woman that look like uh, Halle Berry or, um, you know, one of these badass models, you know, that's fire, that's fine, you know, in shape, uh, beautiful, submissive, all that. If you're not able to take care of her, if you're not able to elevate her life, if you're not able to put her in a position better than where she at right now, chances are you're not going to get a woman like that that's rocking with you and is dealing with you on that level. It's just not happening. Marriages and relationships are transactional. Everybody has something that they want, something that they need, uh, something that they're expecting, something that they're looking for. And it just, it is what it is. So either you're gonna play the game and you're gonna you know, respect the game for what it is and play the game, or you're gonna get out the game, but you can't get in the game and whine and cry about it. <laughs> it just don't work like that. But uh, hit that like, share, subscribe button, drop a comment in the comment section. 
Let me know what y'all think about uh, Judge Mathis' wife wanting to file for divorce after 39 years of marriage. Now, and she's looking for spousal support. Go figure. They all want to be independent. They all want to be equal. They all want to be uh, boss bays. But when the man got that money and you want to file for a divorce, you want to you want to get half of what he got. You can get half of what he got while you're here, but once you leave, it gets nothing. It's 2024, man. Women can get educated. Women can work. Women can do any and everything that a man can do, as they say. So go out here and do it. God, Body, Sean, Elevation Nation Conversations. I appreciate y'all for dropping in, like, sharing, and subscribing. We're going to get back consistent, but uh, I'm, I'm just busy with it. I'm in school, you know, doing a lot of other things. But uh, we definitely going to get back consistent with it. We're going to start posting more and uh, keep y'all tuned and updated. So I appreciate y'all for rocking, rocking with me, uh, uh, you know, clicking, hitting that like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll check y'all on the next one. I appreciate y'all. Peace. Elevation Nation Conversation, God, Body, Sean.